I was getting a complete physical. And I had a CAT scan and MRI, and this is where they picked it up at. They just told me that I had a, a enlarged aorta. And I said, what's that? Then they explained to me about it, what it was. Then they went to showing me where it was positioned at. You know, this is the aorta here. This is her aneurysm here. That her aneurysm went all the way up to where the blood vessels that supply her kidneys are located. These are the kidney arteries here. One, one is there, the other one is over here. So essentially then, as we were saying, if we need to put this graft in, in an artery that has you know, an aneurysm that goes all the way up to the kidneys, well then, we have to put the graft above the kidney arteries in order to seal off the aneurysm. The problem with that is, if we put the graft above the kidney arteries, we plug up the kidney arteries in the kidney. So I said, well, let's get busy. Two, uh, two small incisions in the groin, and then we bring in an x-ray machine, actually, that then is able to, you know, in real time, see through the patient and see the metal of the stent graft. And so basically then what we do is we open the arteries, we put the a wire and a little tube over the wire, and subsequently put dye into the, the blood vessel and see what the anatomy is to figure out you know, where those renal arteries are, where is the seal zone that we need to put this particular graph. And then we bring our device, which is essentially compressed up into a tube about the size of a pencil, and that then is threaded all the way up in deep inside to the abdomen to that aortic aneurysm, and then we push the graft actually outside the little constraining tube, which then springs open and relines the inside of the area. They went through the groin area, and that was better than them going through my tummy. And then the recovery is much faster. It's only a couple days versus you know a week or more in the hospital. And people start to feel better within about a couple weeks after the repair, which is a dramatic improvement over what we've been able to historically do. So after the aneurysm is repaired, what we can see here is we've got an aortic endograft, which essentially goes from above the kidneys and above the blood vessel that supplies the gut. So there's the, one of the major blood vessels that supplies the gut. Then you have both branches to where the kidneys are. And there's been a whole new blood vessel placed inside that old aneurysm, and that's represented right here. And while doing that, we've maintained blood flow to both the right and left kidneys. When we spin it around, you, you can see that there's nothing from blood flow going out into the old aneurysm sac itself. This type of procedure is not, being, is not currently being offered in every hospital in the country, nor will it ever be offered in every hospital in the country. I think the design is going to be that it's going to be more of a regional site that does these types of interventions just because the group of individuals that need to do this, um, everyone from the surgeons to the anesthesiologists to the scrub techs to the operating room nurses, uh, need to have a certain number under their belt to become both comfortable and safe when they do it. And that's one of the advantages I think that, that we have here actually is we have a team of five guys who are very involved in you know, doing aortic surgery, vascular surgery, and, you know, ten eyes are better than two. And Didn't have any symptoms before, and I don't feel any difference. I don't even know that this happened. <laughs>